so under national health mission we have this initiative called lakshya so what is this initiative it is labor room quality improvement initiative and this was launched in uh, december 2017 so in this video we'll try to discuss a uh, few uh, key highlights of this program so why do we need this initiative in the first place one of the motto or aim of national health mission is to increase increase institutional growth okay so in this process in this process there was a tremendous increase in total number of institutional birth okay in the year 2015 16 itself what happened there is doubling like almost from 38.7% of institutional birth it has doubled to almost 78.9% so this is actually uh, a commendable achievement but again in the same uh, year okay at the same time the maternal mortality rate was 130 and the neonatal mortality rate was 24 that means though there are increase in number of institutional births it is not uh, directly affecting the morbidity and mortality of mother and child so actually it's not productive okay so to make sure to make sure uh, that to reduce the maternal and newborn morbidity and mortality to improve the quality of care during the delivery and also to enhance satisfaction of the beneficiaries like positive birth experience okay and also respectful maternity care for all these uh, stuff ministry of uh, health and family welfare has launched this program okay so what is the overview or reason for it or the i can say objectives for it objectives will be uh, the first thing is to re reduce maternal mortality rate and neonatal mortality rate and second thing is improve the quality of care okay that to quality of care in the labor room okay labor room and also in the postpartum period okay postpartum period and finally positive birth experience positive birth experience which includes uh, like respectful uh, delivery okay respectful maternity care uh satisfaction of the mother and the beneficiary this is very important now after understanding this let's quickly jump to uh so we we have a basic knowledge of the background we have a basic knowledge of the objectives behind it now who are the beneficiaries uh like what are the facilities which are actually helping on this laksha that is labor room quality improvement initiative so all medical colleges all medical colleges are covered under this program okay and uh, all are like government medical colleges to be more precise and even all district hospitals are covered under this program all district hospitals are covered under this program and all designated first referral units okay designated first referral units and also uh, community health centers which are uh, high case load okay if there is a high case load in the community health center that means with more than 100 deliveries okay per month okay per month if it is a hilly area or a tribal area more than 60 deliveries per month so in this high case load community health centers also uh, the government is working on improving the quality okay improving the labor so the strategies are the strategies of the lux program are number 1 there will be reorganizing what do they do there will be reorganizing of labor room so there will be a standard labor room operation theater will be uh, following all the standard guidelines and the standard guidelines and they are issued by ministry of health and family welfare government of india and next thing is ensuring okay ensuring all those uh, facilities which we just discussed like government medical college hospitals district hospitals and all uh, have a dedicated obstetric units so obstetric units they have a dedicated 
obstetric units with head of the departments okay and dedicated uh, icus okay dedicated icus and uh, dedicated healthcare units uh, which contains obstetric units is very important and uh, adherence what is that adherence strict adherence to clinical protocols so we we have what are all the uh, postpartum there will be postpartum hemorrhage there will be preterm birth antepartum hemorrhage preeclampsia hypertensive disorders during pregnancy uh, obstructed labor uh, umbilical cord protocol this kind of emergency there are clinical protocols for management okay so there will be uh, the, they make sure that all these institutes all these obstetric units they adhere to the clinical protocols for management and stabilization of uh, complications and uh, next is skill improvement skill improvement so there will be monitoring of what is happening and there will be continuous skill improvement to all this uh, stuff and there will be regular audits happening so there will be regular monitoring monitoring and also audits in all these units so monitoring and audits will be happening in all these units and uh, uh, there will be cycles of quality improvement in this um, and also there will be digital uh, stuff which is added to it there will be a Lakshya web portal to take care of all these things there will be apps and all so those details are not important but what is, what is more important is there is a specific incentivization okay it's an in, there will be incentives in this program and there will be branding for this program so these are very important so what are all the in in incentives which are given so the quality improvement in labor room and maternity will be assessed through some guidelines that is nqas national quality assurance standards what is this national quality national quality assurance assurance standards as per these standards there will be uh, quality improvement inside the labor room and maternity room and there will be assessment so based on that this NAQS score will be given okay NQAS I'm so sorry NQAS score if it is more than 75 percent then that particular facility will be certified as uh, let's not look at what parameters they are follow because that's not important for exam point of view but Lakshya certified facility so if the score is if the NQA score is more than 75% it's a Lakshya certified so that if the yes and uh, based on the score itself if it is more than 70% like if it's 70% we give it a silver batch but institutes whose score is more than 80% okay they'll get they'll get a gold batch and finally institutes with a score of more than 90% they get platinum batch so this is how uh, they brand okay if you have a lux certified quality uh, government uh, or a medical college hospital with uh, score uh, nqa score more than 90 percent then you will hold platinum batch and uh, apart from banding based on the quality indicators and based on the satisfaction of the beneficiaries there will be incentives if more than 80 percent of the beneficiaries are satisfied because one of the key uh, objective of this program is to make sure that there will be a positive birth experience so, so you will be you will be taking feedback from the mother and the attendants and if they are satisfied and if more than 80 percent of the beneficiaries are satisfied with the services provided in their uh, this thing so there will be an incentive of almost six lakhs for a medical college hospital okay and it will be around three lakhs for a district hospital and it will be around uh, two lakhs uh, for a first referral unit so this is very important they get incentives also okay more than 80 percent uh, if there is satisfaction with the beneficiaries so this is uh, uh, all you need to know the important parts uh, are important things about labor room and quality improvement initiative